The next big Clash of Clans update. What is it? When is it? Let's talk about what we know. So when it comes to Clash of Clans update information, you know I'm not a big fan of leaks, but we do have some information that we know about what the next big update is going to be and about the time frame that it should drop. So let's take a look at what we do know as a matter of fact, see when we can expect the next update. So first of all, Darian has confirmed in the interview with Judo Sloth that the next big update will be Town Hall 15. So that leads to the question, when is the next big update? Because we have small updates in between big updates. We had the Clan Capital earlier this year, and then we had a small update for summer. And it looks like the next big update will be the fall update. So when should we expect to see that? So we know we have the World Championships in September, and we know that's going to be played at Town Hall 14. Which means we can't expect an update before uh, the Worlds takes place. After Worlds though, it makes sense because Supercell has already said they want an 18 month time frame in between Town Hall updates. This October is going to be exactly 18 months since Town Hall 14 was released. So I do believe that that is when they're aiming to release Town Hall 15. That would be uh, putting the fall update in October of this year and that fall update of course being the big Town Hall 15 update. So some things that we can expect for the Town Hall update, they've kind of hinted that there probably won't be a new hero for Town Hall 15, just because it may make attacks a little bit too complicated. Of course, we don't know for sure that they aren't going to put in a new hero. They may have a hero planned and just could be saying that to throw us off the scent. That's something we're going to have to wait and find out for ourselves. They said that we will find whatever the next signature defense is to be surprising. They've also said that they won't necessarily stick to the 100 building limit. So if they do go above 100 buildings, I'd be really interested to see how that works as far as gaining percentage during an attack. Because right now I believe we're right at a, well, I know we're right at 100 buildings. So each building is 1% and that works out nicely for math. I do think they could potentially change up how much percentage each building is worth. Uh, Builder Hut shouldn't necessarily be the same percentage as something like an Eagle or a Town Hall. In my opinion, I think they could shift it around like that, but we'll have to wait and see what they do with that. Now, leading up to the Town Hall 15 update, something else they do before all the recent Town Hall updates is they've done something like the Hammer Jam or some big event that uh, really reduces the cost of upgrading, upgrade times, and I think we're going to see something like that for September. We're actually almost in September already. Uh, August has just flown by. So yeah, next month sometime we should be seeing uh, something like that. And that's if we do see an event like that, that's essentially going to confirm that we will see Town Hall 15 in October. Now, if we go through all of September and we don't see an event like that, maybe they save it for October, but usually that's something that lasts uh, three or four weeks. So I would be surprised if they started that event in October. So something to look forward to in September is a big event like the Hammer Jam. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with that. Now, personally, I'm very excited to see what new Town Hall upgrade could bring. Uh, of course, we're going to get the typical new uh, levels and new troops. Another thing that Darian did say for sure is we can expect at least one more new super troop before the end of the year. Now, that might not necessarily come in the fall update. That could be something that they save for the winter update. But hopefully they bring a couple of super troops. I think it's been a little while. I can't remember exactly. I'd have to look how long it's been since we got a new super troop into the game. Uh, we have some super troops that just aren't useful. I would personally love to see the super hog rider. Something that Supercell actually hinted at a while back but never actually put into the game. Uh, there's a lot of different things that would be neat. But I'd love to see the meta get shaken up. Hopefully we get something that helps to ground armies a little bit. Because right now the... The meta is dominated by air, and it's been dominated by air attacks, especially Lalo, for quite a while now. And it's actually getting pretty stale, in my opinion. In addition to some of the new typical stuff that we get with the new Town Hall level, it would be great to see some reworks with the, the way wars work. Like I mentioned before, it would be neat to see some different options, like if we could spend a regular, spin a regular war with just one attack per person. I think that would be amazing. Some sort of in-game... Uh, feature for 5v5 wars would be great as well because we still if we want to run like uh, friendly 5v5s esports format wars essentially we have to go into some third party app usually discord and find opponents to do that it would be great to be able to run those in game so be able to just search for a regular 5v5 if they could add something like that that would be amazing for the game 
I know we got Clan Capital, they're talking about reworking Builder Base, but if they can just take some time and show the main village some love, that would be amazing. And something just beyond the typical, here's the new Town Hall level, here's a meta that hopefully won't get stale again in a couple of months. Uh, I mean, that's assuming they even change the meta. I, I believe they're going to change the meta, I hope anyway. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens, what kind of new things we get, what kind of things get new levels. Um, there were a few things that didn't get new levels from Town Hall 13 to Town Hall 14, so interested to see how those change up. I think a new level on like bat spells would be huge. New level on witches I think would break Town Hall 14, so I can definitely see why they didn't do that. I think witches are fine where they're at. Uh, some A few other things. We'll see if they get new levels going up to the next Town Hall level. I know we talked about new super troops, a new regular troop would be pretty cool as well. I think it's been a little while since we got one of those. Uh, did we get the Headhunter at Town Hall 14? We may have. So it'd be interesting to see if probably like next spring or something they add a new troop for Town Hall 15 or if they just add a new troop at Town Hall 15 launch. Again, some things we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But in any case, I'm excited for all the new things to come and I can't wait for this fall update and see what Clash of Clans brings us. But yeah, that's it. That's pretty much everything that uh, we know is confirmed coming to the game. And then, of course, I added in some things that I personally would like to see, things that aren't confirmed. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Is there anything I missed that's actually been confirmed by Supercell? Is there anything that you would really like to see added to the game, whether it's related to Main Village or any of the other villages? I know we'd all be interested to see what they do with the big uh, builder base rework. But again, like my last update video, I mentioned it's probably going to be a little while before we see anything with that. Uh, sometime next year, either early or mid next year is when we can expect something with Builder Base, uh, especially since they just spent so much time on Clan Capital. Now they're spending time on Main Village. They got to get some time to get around with it. I'm sure they're still going through ideas on what to do. Interested to see if they can make Builder Base less terrible. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it, I suppose. But yeah, again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know features you'd like to see, what you want to see for Town Hall 15. Are you excited for the Hammer Jam? Is that, or whatever similar event they do, is that something that's going to help you progress your village? Or are you, like me, already maxed out and just waiting for the next thing? But that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you all next time.